if you guys like SMGs, you're going to love this Striker 9 class. Not to be mistaken with the Striker, but the Striker 9 is probably one of the better SMGs in the game. Now, normally, in most CODs, I play with SMGs over and over and over again. They're my favorite type of weapons. But in this game, I just haven't been using too many SMGs until I started using this class. Like, sure, I've used the Rival 9, I've used the Ram 9, I've used all of that, but I never actually loved an SMG as much as I love this one right here. So we're going to get into this class setup, guys. This one is definitely overpowered. It is super super fun and I really thought the striker was better than the striker 9 but that's not the case this is the best SMG in Modern Warfare 3 so let's get straight into it man now the first thing that I got to say that I got on this class as my secondary is a melee weapon all right we're using the karambit and the reason for that is because i don't want to rely on pulling out a pistol i just want to have the karambit i want to be able to pull out the knife if i have to and just knife someone up close i don't want to have my pistol out and rely on using that i want to use the striker for most situations or the striker nine i should say <laughs> i don't like that the game has two strikers in it it just it makes everything so confusing but you got the striker and then you got the striker nine it's just, it's just weird to me but then after that we got stim shot stim shot's gonna help out a lot you got to get back in the action as fast as you can and that's gonna do it for you we got two throwing knives on which is great but because of my demolition vest that i'm running as a vest we could actually have three at once we could hold three of them which is really nice and demolition is great because your lethal and your tactical come back every 25 seconds so that stim shot that you have is going to come back every 25 seconds as well so it's really awesome then we got the munitions box i like it because we don't want to waste anything on like scavenger or stuff like that we, we don't want to run that kind of stuff so the munitions box is going to actually help us out if we're on nice streaks we got assault gloves so when you jump shot you ads faster but you're also a lot more accurate those are going to help out a lot as well we got covert sneakers because who wants to be heard nobody wants to be heard running around the map it's just annoying and it is what it is even if it's a small map i always recommend running covert sneakers and then ghost tv camo now a lot of people tell me like uh, i don't hear footsteps and stuff well I, if you have a bad headset that you can't hear footsteps go into the settings play around with it a bit you'll be able to hear it everyone could hear footsteps unless you're listening out of your tv audio then you probably won't hear footsteps that well but trust me just because you can't hear them doesn't mean the enemies don't hear yours make sure you're running covert sneakers all right guys it's super important now for the striker 9 i have a couple of options here but the main class i'm gonna give you guys the one that you're actually walking watching not walking the one that you're watching in the background right now is, my, is the one that I'm going to share with you guys because that's my favorite one. But there are a few different options depending on how you guys want to play. So this one right here is kind of built for all ranges, but I'm going to give you guys a class that's built to be a lot quicker after. If you just want to be really fast with it. Now, before we get into the class setup, if we could drop a like on this, I would truly appreciate it. That's sub to the channel with those notice turned on. And let me know down in the comments below, do you prefer ARs or SMGs? Now, the first attachment that we're going to talk about on this one is the Jack BFB. Now, this is going to be one of those optional attachments, all right? Uh, this is going to be the one that I recommend using for all ranges, but for the class that I give you afterwards, we're actually going to take this off completely. But the class that you guys are watching in the gameplay right now has it on 100%, and it's worth it. It's really worth it. You got gun kick control, vertical recoil control, and horizontal recoil control as well. Now, you're getting 55% recoil gun kick. 20% horizontal recoil and 35% vertical recoil control. So it's really worth it in my opinion. I would always recommend running this attachment on a lot of guns. Now, if you're building a class to be really fast, it wouldn't make sense. But this class isn't for that. It makes sense to have the Jack BFB on currently as it is right now. The next one is going to be the Striker Elite Long Barrel. And this one's really important as well because you're getting a lot of that damage range, but you're also getting bullet velocity. You're getting aiming idle sway. You're getting recoil control. You're getting a lot of stuff with this one right here. All right. So you're getting 12% effective damage range, which is actually really nice. 13% minimum damage range, which is really nice as well. And then 15% bullet velocity, which on the small maps doesn't matter. But when you get to those bigger maps and stuff, bullet velocity definitely does matter, especially if you're playing like Warzone. That, that's where it's probably the most important. But for what it is right now, this class works on both. You can play a multiplayer, you can play a Warzone. It does a good job on both. Now, you're also getting recoil control. So you're getting 9% horizontal and 9% vertical, and you're getting 6% recoil gun kick. So it's really nice. And the visual recoil on this gun, is it's kind of annoying but for the most part it's just visual recoil this gun doesn't have too much recoil you don't have to worry about it next off you got the vlk laser even though i said this class wasn't built for speed it was built more for range and stuff in all ranges you still want to fire fast you still want to sprint to fire fast you still want to ads fast you want all of that and this one gives it to you okay so the only con on this one is the fact that when you're adsing your actual laser is visible which kind of sucks don't get me wrong it does suck but 
we don't have to worry about it too, too much. It's only when you're ADSing. If you're pushing a lot and you're running around a lot with this class, you guys are watching the gameplay in the background. You don't need to worry about it too, too much. Now, the ADS speed and the Sprint to Fire are both going to go up 5% with that one right there. So it's really nice. Then we got 40 round mags. All right, this is definitely needed on a gun like this. You don't want to run around the map without bullets. Like, if you have 25 or you have 30 or something, it's just it's not worth it in my opinion, okay? So definitely run to 40 round mags especially if you're playing all ranges. It's gonna take more bullets at longer ranges. You definitely wanna have that for sure. And then finally, for the final attachment, this one I love because you're getting gun kick control, you're getting firing aim stability, you're getting recoil control, but you're also getting ADS speed, which is really awesome. And this is the RB Crotalus Assault Stock. Now you're getting 13, or sorry, 12, not 13, 12% recoil gun kick control, you're losing three horizontal and vertical, not to worry guys, it's not too bad, but you're getting 5% ADS as well. So it's actually really nice, it makes the gun pretty stable, it's not too bad, and overall your ADS, you don't lose any, which you would think you would lose running that. Now for the next attachments, the, the actual class setup that you guys want to run, if you want this thing made for all ranges, I'm going to share that with you right now. And it's actually, it's really nice. It's actually a solid gun to use for a really, really fast paced gaming as well. So we're going to go ahead and like I said, we're not going to use a muzzle on this one. All right, guys, there's just no point in using a muzzle on this one. It just wouldn't make any sense because those take away a lot of ADS. They take away a lot of sprint to fire and all that kind of stuff. But the first thing we're going to throw on is the striker stubby barrel. This is going to give you sprint to fire speed. It's going to give you ADS speed. It's going to give you aim walking speed. It's going to give you a lot of literally everything. All right, guys, you're getting 9% ADS speed, 10% sprint to fire with that right there and then just makes you really fast and it's really fun to use in all honesty going to the under barrel we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go ahead and put on the dr6 hand stop this is gonna give you sprint to fire speed movement speed ads speed and aim walking speed and the good thing about it is you're getting 11 ads and 10 sprint to fire so it's really cool as well and then we're gonna focus on another attachment another one which is gonna give us a bunch of stuff that we definitely want as well like ADS and all that kind of stuff and sprint to fire and why not right and it's gonna be a laser once again all right and this is the chimera RYL 33 laser light this one is gonna give you aim walking steadiness which is great this is because of the fact that we're not putting a lot of recoil attachments onto this gun this one is really nice to have so when you're actually ADSing and strafing back and forth and stuff your gun is not like kind of looking all over the place bouncing all over the place it's pretty nice your attack sound spread goes up your sprint to fire speed goes up a lot and your ads goes up a lot as well and the sprint to fire goes up 18 percent with this attachment and your ads speed goes up 10 your attack sound spread goes up 16 so really nice to throw onto the actual gun now there's two things that are really bad with this attachment that i i don't like but there it's worth it it's really worth having on that is the fact that your flashlight is visible in ads and your laser is visible in ADS as well. So it's making you very visible when you're aiming down sights, but in my opinion, it's it's really not that bad. Now, another attachment that we gotta throw on is gonna be the same one that we had on the last class setup for this, and that is the RB Crotalus Assault Stock. We need this again because we need some sort of recoil control, we need some sort of gun kick control, but we don't wanna lose ADS or anything. We're actually gaining ADS with this one, like I said before, we're getting four ADS with this one, so it's worth it in my opinion, and we're also losing four sprint to fire, but we got so much sprint to fire already on this class that we don't need to worry about that too much. Now, the ADS speed boost is good on this. It's great because it's paired with recoil gun kick control, which is really nice as well. And for the final attachment on this one, we could focus on another thing that's going to give us recoil control and gun kick control and all that kind of stuff because it's kind of needed, let's be honest. And that's the Sakin ZX Grip. Now, this one right here is going to give you 10% recoil gun kick control, 7% horizontal, vertical, and vertical. I mean, <laughs> horizontal, vertical. That doesn't make any sense. Horizontal and vertical recoil control. So this one's going to be actually really, really nice to use. And this class right here, it's a very fast class. It's not the fastest SMG, don't get me wrong, but it's actually really good. It doesn't have too much recoil, but the recoil that it does have, I'm going to warn you guys, is a little more horizontal than vertical, all right? So the vertical is super easy to control, but it does go left and right a bit, which could be a little harder to control for people. The overall great class, great classes, and uh, in, in all honesty, if you're going to be running the secondary, I, I don't know, man. The, the Renetti got nerfed, guys. I don't know if it's on multiplayer. Someone let me know. The Renetti's got nerfed, though. I think it's only on Warzone. I'm hoping it's only on Warzone. And I think it's only when you run the full auto attachment onto it, the, the conversion kit. 
it just kind of sucks. I said it was going to happen. I don't want to get used to using that class, so I didn't. And I'm kind of happy that I didn't because, damn, that thing just, it seems useless at the moment. Let me know if it did actually catch a nerf down in the comments below. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching this video. I truly do appreciate it. My name is Nick. Drop a like on this one. Sub to the channel with those notifications turned on if you're new around here. And again, let me know down in the comments below, are you an AR or an SMG player? Thank you guys for watching. My name is Nick, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.